I'm Julia Graham. I'm a consulting engineer with RWDI. Over the last seven years, I've been involved in over 70 building projects. I'm a member of the vibration and damping team, and we work on the prediction and mitigation of vibration in many different situations. Floor vibrations can become problematic when they're large enough to cause annoyance or in extreme cases, even panic. Recently, we worked on a project where such large scale vibrations were a concern. This project involves a ballroom in a resort facility and the unsupported area of the ballroom is more than 25,000 square feet and there can be as many as 2,300 people in the ballroom at any time. The developer came to us because they recognized the situation as having the potential to cause large vibrations in the floor, especially when you have music playing, people are all dancing along to the music and they often move in synchronization so they're able to create very large loads and obviously we don't want to have a situation where the floor is moving and making people uncomfortable to the point where they feel like they're dancing on a trampoline. Many people don't recognize, and even some engineers don't recognize, that although the people add a dynamic load to the floor, which can cause these problematic floor vibrations, they also add significant mass and damping to the system, and that can help to mitigate the floor's dynamic response. Our model showed that under certain loading conditions, excessive floor motions were likely. We recommended tuned mass dampers, or TMDs. We worked closely with the structural engineer to determine the preferred masses and locations of these TMDs. We then developed a model of the complete structure crowd TMD system to predict how the complete system would respond dynamically. This model demonstrated to our client that TMDs could be effectively used to mitigate the floor's structural vibrations.